hey virgo how you doing welcome back to the channel i hope all is well let's get into your reading last but not least you are my last reading for today let's see what's going on to this week i'm doing six a day to make sure i get all 12 signs done in two days since you know i've been on call all right so let's see what does virgo placements need to know right now i love it you got the sun and sagittarius for enthusiasm you got something to be happy for and you got acquisition and you have status here influence at the bottom of the deck as well so this is good this could involve a sagittarius a taurus a leo or a pisces but this is really good you're upgrading you're gonna overcome some type of um issue that could have affected you it could involve someone that's uh older than you acquisition i believe talks about that what is this sun and taurus let me go to it now acquisition sun and taurus talks about those involving pleasures artistic encouragement or expensive indulgence resistance to change a dispute over possessions discovery of something valuable a win a gift or a surprise receipt of money are you getting a divorce are you getting a divorce? Because something that was supposed to break you down is actually lifting you up. And it looks like you're handling it or you will handle whatever this is very well and gracefully and come out on top. So keep your wits about you. Remain positive. Don't let anybody see uh, you sweat. Yeah, don't let anybody see you sweat. So, okay. Hmm. In a reading, this card shows a strong desire to achieve financial independence and often indicates the ability to amass a comfortable amount of money. The danger when this card appears is that a natural love for life's pleasure will express itself in greed over lavish behavior and ostentation. The card also indicates a need to hold on to your possessions and may indicate a challenge to ownership. So it makes me think of a contract you may have to dispute whether it's a business contract or a marriage like separate split of assets or something like that but you'll be all right because you got enthusiasm here splendid opportunities contract from aboard i'm sorry contract from abroad <laughs> the prospect of long distance travel a new philosophy, optimism about a new project, a new beginning. So, yeah, you'll be all right. You may be attracted to foreign places and people. You may want to move to another country or another state. Your intuition will grow. It'll become stronger. You're going to be inspired by very... Uh, you're going to be inspired by things. I feel like I'm talking to an artist almost or somebody that's very artistic uh someone that yeah you could be an entrepreneur or some type of artist strong intuitive ability that gives sudden flashes of inspiration or visions uh, of future events and you could gravitate towards things that just give you inspiration to do like to create wonderful things good processes uh, invent things the enthusiasm card and a reading predicts a drive to continue education and to keep up renewed interest in philosophical, religious, or ethical concepts. The downside of this card is the chance that one is about to let out a home truth that might hurt someone's feelings. Ooh, wait. What, hasn't this been coming up in your reading a lot? Something coming out, but it, like I said, you're going to be all right. Status is here with Jupiter and Taurus. You're going to be okay. It, this message, I, I can't tell you. It doesn't matter what cards I use. This message just keeps coming out. One way or another, it just vanishes to come out. So my apologies. 
but I'm talking to the same Virgo and I'm getting the same damn message. It says gaining pleasures from beautiful things, extravagant tastes, a generous love of art, using money to cultivate powerful friends. Yeah, you may not have, you may or you may not use money, but your status definitely gra makes other people gravitate towards you that are successful and have a status in their own right. They want you to be aware of your priorities and question whether material gain is really the most important thing at the moment. You're gonna, some of you may hit some type of worldly achievement and run the risk of being judged on the basis of material possessions. So, because you're coming out the happiest one, you're coming out optimistic, you're coming out enthused, you're coming out happy, you're coming out as some type of winner the losing side or the loser to your win may try to make you feel bad about it. This card also talks about the ability to give as easily and skillfully as you acquire a key to strike the balance, like knowing how to give, how much to give and how much to take. You could become a humanitarian. This is something like I said, man, that could have broke you, you're being rescued from and coming out on top unscathed. Yeah, people will have something to say, but so what? All right, I gave you the signs already. I'm going to go to the tarot. Man, what an interesting. I hope that something else comes out. I really, maybe I should have waited. Maybe I should have waited. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I should have did your reading at another. Like, maybe I should have waited till tomorrow or something. I don't know. You're breaking free from some type of toxic situation. You got the back of the devil and the chariot. You're going to move forward from a situation that kept you restricted. Maybe even bound in some way. You're breaking free from it. This could be an addiction an abusive situation or a situation that just didn't benefit you. It brought more harm than, than, than love. It brought more harm than safety. This could involve a cancer or a Capricorn. This could also be you surrendering to like, Surrendering to like a, a healthier work-life balance. You could be a this Capricorn devil energy. The back of it could represent you trying harder to prioritize family over work. Or to prioritize your life, your personal life outside of work too. And you, you will succeed. This could also represent you overcoming some type of addiction. And kudos. I'm proud of you. Addictions are hard. I used to smoke like a chimney, you know, I get it. Let me pull some messages from the Kipper deck. This could also be you getting out of a bad contract too. That devil could be a bad contract in the chariot, something, a force is coming through that help you persevere and there's a loophole that you 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 find that gets you up out of that contract um this could be a bad job a job a dead end job you being you know rescued from so congratulations seriously if you're doing the work you deserve to be rewarded you deserve for your effort to pay off all right so kipper deck mature man in reverse house coffin and occupation you leaving a childish work environment, a childish person, a childish relationship. Uh, um, you could be upgrading with mature man in reverse and coffin, with house being here and occupation. You could be stepping in, in a position where you have more money, where you can afford to live in a nicer neighborhood, where you don't have to worry about gangbangers and the crime is really low, you know. Everybody has what you have and they trying to protect theirs and not take from anybody else They too worried about what's going on in their garden to try to tend to someone else's 
So you're leaving a childish relationship or environment where it could be rather dangerous and people could be small minded in, into a better environment for you, your family. This could have something to do with your work or not with occupation here, but it definitely could. Something could be ending with your career for the better and it gives you an opportunity to take advantage of an opportunity that pays you more. It could enable you to move out of, a, of an environment to a better environment. This could represent your work environment too. Maybe you're going from a toxic work environment to a more professional work environment where you fit in and actually have a connection with the people you work with. Something like that is here too. But definitely something is over that wasn't benefiting you in the first damn place. Let's see what's going on with your finances. Oh, and the signs that I'm seeing could involve uh, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Gemini, Libra, Taurus. All right. All right. Let's see. Financial messages for Virgo. Ooh, that flipped right over book. Again, it's talking about paperwork and contracts. We were just talking about that. You see it? Paperwork and contracts. Learning as you go. You could be doing something hands-on. You could be a person that learned from experience and not so much with books. But it doesn't matter. You could be going over some type of paperwork or contract. You could be writing a book, taking a class, seeking some type of legal action or legal counsel, going back to school, acquiring some type of knowledge or assistance that uh, either puts you in, that either uh, involves you signing a contract or breaking a contract. It could be something like that, too. Some of you could be getting some type of promotion, too, with candle at the bottom of the deck or manifesting an opportunity to make money with candle magic or your prayers. They work, too. You could be seen more from management in the upcoming uh, days or weeks with visibility here. Maybe you have the right stuff, you have the right product, you have the right experience, but you're not doing something to be seen more. And maybe that's what's changing, you being seen, becoming more visible to the people that you want to be seen by. And there's nothing wrong with that. Let's see what's going on when it comes to love. Any love messages for Virgo? I have one more shuffle is what I'm hearing. Love messages for Virgo. resistance are you not ready you got a bull here that's surrendering to a parrot you're afraid of something being repeated because parrots repeat what they hear other people say and a bull you know it represents Taurus. it represents being you know luxury and all of that aggressiveness too Maybe you're just not ready yet, especially if you're like going through a divorce or a rocky like time in your marriage or I don't know, a breakup. Maybe you're not ready yet because I, this talks about you being resistant. You, you maybe it looks like you're in fear of something history repeating itself, something happening again. What is uh, Virgo's advice on this? Organization. They want you to take care of some type of business, do some type of work before you focus on love. Because it don't even look like you're ready. You got Venus and um, Capricorn. This is more so about work. It may take time for you to get your endeavors straightened up and work and your finances before you can even embrace thinking about having a personal life. This could also talk about you settling something with someone else before you can move on elsewhere. But there's something that needs to be taken care of first before you could really focus on love. Because there's some type of halt. There's some type of blockage with resistance being here. Let me get one more. Inspiration. You got to want it too. It, is your mind even on this? It don't look like your mind is on it. This could involve a Taurus, a, a, um, 
a Capricorn, a Libra, or a Pisces. You may be one of those Virgos that are very spiritual, and you may get pushed in a direction to focus on your spirituality. Some of y'all could be going through a time of celibacy or abstinence. And this could last for like one to two years for some of y'all. What about the ones that don't resonate with that? False person and marriage. You definitely don't want to rush something. So don't get out there for the sake of just so you can say you have somebody and marry somebody that's really not for you. Some of y'all are getting out of a marriage with a fake ass person. It could be a Gemini. It could be an Aquarius or a Scorpio. What are the Oracle messages? Cassette, outdated thinking. So you see what I'm saying? Some of y'all are not ready because maybe you, you think everybody's a hoe. Everybody's a cheater with the snake here. It says competition, enemy, clever. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. And you got cassette with outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. It's either time or it's not. And, you know, I tried to pull for other people because I know every Virgo is not going through the same thing at the same time. But I am clearly reading for a specific Virgo in this energy. And you have my love, my prayers. I wish you the best. Give me a kiss. Mwah. That is your message. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. And you have a good day. Bye, Virgo.